Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Fast Food. Today we're going to be making the very popular Chicken McSpicy from McDonald's and I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. Let's go. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could you share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is make the sauce that's gonna go with our mixed spicy, that fiery sauce that's in that burger. And I actually threw this out to you guys on my Facebook page and said, what do you think is in it? And the overwhelming majority was the following ingredients. Just, just into a bowl here, we're gonna be putting in some whole egg mayonnaise. Now, I've said this before, if you wanna make your own, go for it, we've done that before. Now the sauce has a real sweetness to it and I think it gets it from some sweet chilli sauce and a lot of you did as well so I'm going to be adding in some sweet chilli sauce as well. Now for some powdered spices, the first one is some garlic powder. Next I've got a little bit of some ground turmeric just to give it that sort of yellowy colour. I've also got some ground cumin and I'm going to be adding that in as well. And lastly, because there's definitely some heat in there, I've got some ground chili. Now you could use some chili flakes if you wanted to. I actually think it's the ground chili because I think the flakes or those little specks that you see actually come from that sweet chili sauce. So we're going to give this a good mix around. So let's just give it a quick little taste. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's definitely got a kick to it. That I reckon is spot on. So guys, now we're gonna get on to our seasoned flour for our chicken patty. So just into a container, and I'll show you this little trick later on, but just into a container, I've got some flour. I'm gonna season the flour with some salt and pepper. I'm adding in some garlic powder, and I'm also adding in some onion powder as well. I'm just gonna give this a good mix around. Now the other thing I've got here too, I'll just get this out of the way, so we've done with our flour mix now. I've got some egg and a little bit of water and I've just whisked it together. Now I've got some baking paper here and I've got a chicken breast that I've just cut in half and I'm gonna be shaping this a little bit. So I just wanna cut off that end piece and now I'm gonna get our chicken breast and I'm gonna be putting it into the egg wash and then straight in to the seasoned flour. And repeat that process. I want you to put it back into the egg wash and then back into the flour. So we're gonna double dip. Now what I've got here is some oil. I've been heating it up and you know when it's ready because I just chuck a little bit of bread in and if it starts to bubble around it like that, I know it's ready. So get your oil nice and hot. You can do this with a deep fryer as well, of course. So we're gonna get our chicken and we're gonna place it in the oil. Be very careful. Now the chicken's gonna take anywhere between five to seven minutes in the oil, depending on how thick you've got your chicken. Mine's sort of that medium to more thick size, so I'm gonna to go to six to seven. So guys, we've finished cooking our chicken. Check it out. Just looks like the real thing. It's gonna taste 10 times better though, I guarantee you. It smells wonderful. Now, let's get building this bad boy. So for our buns, I've just got a whole meal bun. They've got this like, whole wheat sort of bun thing happening and it's got like different little bubbles on the top of it. I'm just, I found these and I thought I'm gonna use these. The taste will be the same. So I'm just gonna place our chicken on top. Now I've got some iceberg lettuce that I'm just gonna place on the top. And I've got some of that mayonnaise that we made before that I'm just gonna be nice and giving with. I'm not gonna be stingy and just put a couple of little drops on there. Just gonna pop the lids on. And there you have it, my friends. The McDonald's McSpicy, homemade. What more could you ask for? They're bloody brilliant. All right, let's give this McSpicy a try, shall we? Here we go, yummo. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that sauce. Well, that sent me cross-eyed then. Oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. And that chicken. Woo. 
I've done a McChicken before and it's exactly the same, but that sauce absolutely makes that dish. And you know what, the spicing, I love the cumin. I'm a massive fan of cumin and I love it in there. But the chili and that sweetness of the sweet chili sauce really just go right in your taste buds, right at the end, it just hits you all of a sudden. And I love it. If you want to tone it down, pull it back a bit with the spices, go for it. But you know what? I like it like that, and I reckon you're going to, too. Give it a try.